So this is something I wanted to talk about this week uh, because we did the, the abortion video with Samantha B, and we don't have a whole ton of time. So you you see these, you've seen these bumper stickers that are aimed at how are Republicans pro-life? Once you're born, they don't care. They're just pro-birth. Right? Yeah. We have all of these up here. How to tell if a Republican is pro-life or just anti-woman. Ask them to raise taxes to feed hungry babies. These are bumper stickers. This is bumper sticker knowledge, and you'll see this <sighs> plastered on Facebook as memes, again, because of the problem. All over Twitter, every SJW and their mother. And here's the problem with that. And this is what I think is one of the fundamental differences between the left and, and, and people like us. They immediately attribute motive. Yes. For example, you've heard me say this many times about Bernie Sanders. I think the guy is delusional. I think he's wrong, but I think he genuinely wants to help, right? I, 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 there are people like Hillary Clinton who are just conniving, horrible, awful, terrible wenches. Yes. But I do think there are plenty of liberals, particularly young liberals, young leftists, who want to help and they're misguided. How many times have you heard us say that? Liberals right away attribute Republicans just hate kids. Republicans just hate black people. Republicans just hate women. Republicans just hate queers. Republicans just hate chicks with dicks. That's the... We're going to have to get that on the censor. I didn't even that. realize that. That just came out. That's not a good thing. Because it rhymes. Halloween spirit. It rhymes. Rhymes are Trannies fun. are the non-offensive term. Let me explain this somewhat rationally. Um, Republicans, people like me, conservatives, we're pro-life because we are overall pro-liberty. That's what it comes down to. We don't oppose socialized health care because we want poor people to die. We oppose socialized health care because we want more people to live. That's why I oppose socialized health care. I've looked at the health projections. I've looked at the likeliness of dying from a terminal illness, and it is higher virtually everywhere than the United States. If you have a terminal illness, your best chance of living is the United States, being a United States citizen. We don't oppose, Republicans don't oppose the current public school union-run regime because we want kids to be stupid. We oppose it because we want children to be provided with a choice. We want parents to be provided with a choice. That's why we've pushed for school choice programs, school vouchers, charter schools, all of which they're God, King, John Oliver crap on and say, let's funnel more money into the current public school system. We don't oppose a welfare state because we want people to be poor. We oppose it because we want people to thrive. And we see how the welfare state has destroyed lives. Let's talk about the black American family after Lyndon Johnson. Mm -hmm. It decimated black American families because there was an incentive to remain in a welfare state. And by the way, the single greatest indicator you could possibly have of economic health, of personal health, wellness, longevity. Your kids going to school, kids going staying to school, out of prison. Your kids staying out of prison. Is marriage. Is our mommy and daddy in the house? Are they married? That, that, it's not even close. School, money, none of it. And that's what Republicans, that's what conservatives have always supported. You may not like it. You may not like the idea of a nuclear family, but we support that because we want kids to thrive. Minimum wages. They don't create wealth. They eliminate jobs. That's why we oppose them. Healthcare mandates don't make insurance more affordable. They skyrocket premiums, as we've seen this week. Socialized healthcare doesn't make people healthier. They put you before death panels who determine whether you get to get end-of-life treatment, live or die. That's another thing. This is what the left is. They say, well, partial birth, partial, partial birth abortion isn't a thing. Yeah, of course it was a thing. That's why it was banned. Hillary Clinton mm -hmm. fought against getting it banned. Now, that's not the medical terminology. It's called dilation and extraction. We give it a term that people can understand. Just like dolphin is not the actual scientific term for a dolphin. Don't ask me what it is. I know with whales, it's Amos Schumerius. We know that. Uh, yeah. With uh, that hi hippos, one, yeah. it's Hilarius Clintonus. We know that. I don't know dolphins. So we give it a term, partial birth abortion, because that's a way that someone can understand. It's a way that someone can process it. Same thing with death panels. Remember that there's no such thing as a death panel. No one thinks that there's a death star and Emperor Palpatine is going to come out and say, oh, he will die. What we're talking about is the government at this point having to ration care. Do you know how I know there are death panels? Because my aunt was put in front of one with lung cancer that was stage four by the time the panel could even determine her course of treatment in, in Canada. Canada. In Canada. This is why... In Canada, 2005, we've talked about this, Shoei versus Quebec, Supreme Court case. They said it's a violation of human rights to ban privatized health care because people are dying and they have the right to pay for health care. So this idea that Republicans aren't pro-birth because we just don't support free crap at the expense of the taxpayer all the time, it's not because we don't care about people, it's because we care more about people and we have a fundamental understanding of how the world works. Don't allow yourself to be tricked by this, or, or even use that term, that term compassionate conservative was used to try and fight back for a while because people felt guilty. Listen, there is nothing more compassionate than capitalism, than free enterprise, than conservatism. The people who are greedy little bastards 
bastards who want to get their hands on everything and absolutely destroy it like the spoiled toddlers that they are, are the leftists who put that bumper sticker on their Prius, which by the way is worse for the environment with two giant non-recyclable batteries. You want to be better for the environment? Go buy a crappy beat down car. It's not even close. They don't have to make a new one. Stop driving your Prius. They also handle like crap. It's a white guilt mobile and I hate you. Dana Lash next. Hey, Jared's laughing. This video is taken from the full weekly podcast, Louder with Crowder. Subscribe by clicking it. Uh, Jared's laughing because I, he's at, he just got shot. The loss of blood is making him delirious. Who shot him? Guilty. <laughs>